What up, Tiny Nation? I'm medium producer TYLR. Let's react to some music, shall we? Here we go! Take me high! Everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to dive back into our girl Angelina, and I'm super excited because I believe, if I remember correctly, we are officially in her EP release month. So hopefully sooner than later we're gonna start being um, be able to get some more new music from her for me to react to. But of course, obviously, I want to keep doing her reaction. I'm sorry, her covers <laughs> to keep the reactions coming because she is just one of my favorite singers right now. Honestly, just put it out, just put it out in the air. She is one of my favorite singers right now. She is just so talented. Her voice is so unique. I've never heard anybody sing like her. So because of that, we have to for sure do her cover of "I Have Nothing," and I want to really, I'm really excited for this because. She has such a unique vocal. I know this is going to be because I've reacted to uh, "Have Nothing" from a couple different people on my channel now. So, but this one I think for sure is going to be the most unique in terms of just the way I know she sings. I cannot wait to see what kind of cover she's going to give us with this. So, I'm really, really pumped for this. <laughs> but anyways, guys, before we get started, though, please go ahead and check out my other Angelina Jordan reactions on my channel. They are in the Angelina Jordan's reactions playlist. And um, if you've already checked them out, thank you. I really appreciate that. It means the world to me. If you have not, they will be over there waiting for you to react to or to watch. Whichever one you want to refer to. Anyways, <laughs> let's just get this going. Let's dive into it. <laughs> Alrighty, you know what we're here for. Angelina, what you got for us, girl? Let's do this. Yeah. <laughs> here we go. about to be ridiculous oh my gosh hang on hang on um just two seconds of your time i wanted to say i love that she's gone with a little bit like of her more deeper tone for the like um first part of this and um it really matches that um style not only of what she has for her own vocal but i feel like just for some reason that works really well with the way this song is like just to have that nice deep somber tone that i love from her vocal for like the first part of this and i'm really curious to see I, I this is gonna be a really, really true testament of what her vocal range is i'm curious to see if she's about to like pull off the same vocal range as whitney because you know i've seen many people not only do like whitney's like um range but even take it up a notch higher before so i'm really curious to see how high her vocal range is going to get for this song this is a really good song to testimony i feel like a good testimony of how good are you with your vocal range, you know? <laughs> um, also, she looks really pretty right here. Like, I love that she's got, like, her usual, like, hairstyle where she's got her little bit of, like, a little bun kind of thing that's, like, back here. I don't know how to describe it. I don't, I don't know how to describe hair very well. <laughs> but then it's, I love this dress on her. Her dress is very, very beautiful. Uh, even though it's in black and white, I have no idea what color it is. It's still very beautiful. <laughs> but anyways, okay, I'm so ready for this. I'm actually going to go back a couple more. 
so we can really, really build up into this. I'm super excited to see what she's about to do. Oh my gosh, okay. Oh, where you don't follow, I won't hold it back again. This passion inside, I can't run from myself. There's no way to hide. Okay, that was perfect. I love that she didn't try to do something that might not, not necessarily she couldn't do, but like I love that she decided to make it her own version and not try to do what a lot of other singers like to do, and that is to either keep up with the high vocals of Whitney or outdo her. And um, I love that she was like, you know what? I don't have any reason to try to prove my vocals to be as high or sing as high as Whitney or higher for that matter. I'm going to do this my way. And my way is to stay comfortable in my own vocal range, stay in that deep, somber tone that I know my, vo my vocals sound good in, and I'm just going to do it my own way. And that I'm so glad she did that. I'm so glad she didn't try to, like, you know, strain her voice to get high up there just to be able to just prove that she has, like, a higher vocal range. Like, that, is, that was perfectly done. Very good job. I love that. Good job, Angelina. Way to stick with what you know you can do and to just make this your own cover. Like, you could tell, like, this has no resemblance minus the actual lyrics and the instrumentation in the back to Whitney Houston's version. This is her version. This is Angelina's version. I love it. Heck yeah. Okay. Um, let me go back a couple here. And then, let's see. I'm curious what she's going to do for the key change, though. Because that's going to be interesting, though. That's that's definitely going to be interesting. So, let's see. Oh. I'm sorry, I gotta do a little teasing. Um, just a little bit of build up. Anyways, um, no, actually I actually have something to say. <laughs> I have to say, I think what I really like about her version too is because she's not trying to just get all these like high vocals and all these high points in the song, you can really hear and actually really focus on the lyrics of the song itself. Because she's not only she's not only like a great phenomenal phenomenal singer, but her pronunciation, especially for English, being well, I don't know. Did she? I I feel like you guys have mentioned this before. Did she learn English from being a child? 
or, or I should say, no. Was she um, born able to speak English or did she have to learn English? I'm pretty sure she had to learn it because I know she's obviously from, oh, oh, no, this is a good testimony if, if I remember. She's from Norway. That's what I remember. Okay. <laughs> um, I know she's from Norway. So are Norwegians born with the, are they taught English from the time they are born or did she learn it after she was like grown up and like was growing up as a child? I can't remember. But I was going to say, um, if English is her second language, for her to be able to sing such perfect pronunciations of English written songs or American songs, whatever you want to say, is just mind blowing. Like it's like I feel like for her, she's one of the most perfectly pronunciated singers out there where you just clearly understand exactly what she's singing about. You can really focus on the lyrics. And you really just enjoy her performance. Because you can actually hear every single word spoken, every single word is pronounced with perfection, and like if, I mean, it might sound silly to point something out like that, but like that is so important when it comes to songs, and especially when you're doing like, you know, um, really even covers because you know when you make it your own like that, where it's like it's her own cover, where it's her own deep tone, it's not her trying to like you know get on Whitney's like level of singing and whatnot, the pronunciation is key. When you don't basically do the cover like a lot of other people do, you have to make it your own enough to appeal to the audience. And she's 100% doing that. This actually might be my favorite cover of this song, just because she's making it her own. And um, it's really cool to be able to hear this song like this without just all these high runs and high vocals that blow you away, obviously. But like to see like this performing like this is so much more intriguing to me i think more than anything but the key change is coming though so let's see what she's gonna do with this though because i'm really really curious how she's gonna do this I have nothing, nothing, nothing to make me close for my door. i don't wanna hurt anymore Ooh. absolutely killed that that was amazing okay i do need to make comments on that um, <clears throat> um the key change <laughs> i was gonna say what am i talking about here <laughs> i'm gonna make comments about that key change so let me take the video away on i will come right back and talk about this <laughs> all right before i get to the overall synopsis of the song um let's talk about that key change that key change was so flawless like it's interesting like you can tell like she takes her vocal up a bit but like it's still like it's like she so I'm, I'm trying to see how she did this because i don't i can't tell if she's singing it in the original key because the thing is she doesn't sound as high as whitney sings it so i'm wondering if she i'm wondering if she took it to a more comfortable key for her to sing in where she knew she could still do that key change but it's not the same like original key key change as Whitney's version because I think that'll make more sense for her to do that because for her to keep for her to pick a more you know comfortable vocal range for her so she can pull off that um, key change and not feel like she's straining or feeling like she's having to push her vocal too hard I feel like that makes more sense. So that's almost what I'm thinking she did. I think that she completely flipped the key. Or sorry, she flipped the key that the original song is in to something more comfortable for her. So she could actually pull off that key change um, that she 
you know, that is part of the original song. <laughs> um, anyways, how many times can I say key change? <laughs> um, but yeah, that was beautifully well done on her part with that because for her to try, I feel like, to do Whitney's original key would just be so difficult, I feel like. Not because she's not vocally trained for that, but it's just that's not her vocal range. That's not where she's comfortable at. And you have to be willing to, you know, be able to embrace what you know you're good at. You know, there's always, you know, there's always that idea of like, let's strive to be better and better and better than, you know, you are originally. But this right here, I think actually shows how good she is. This shows an improvement on her vocals because it shows that she can take a really tough song like this one and really still make it her own and still have that impact that the song has. And like I said, during the actual reaction part, they the, the pronunciation she has really, really makes it shine because you really get to hear what the lyrics are saying. You really feel that passion of, you know, I have nothing if I don't have you. You know, you really feel that like almost that emotion of if you don't have that person in your life you really feel like you have nothing and i feel like her i feel like she really conveys the message more with her version honestly um than than any version i've seen so far i, I it's, yes like i said it's very impressive to see people hit the same vocal range as whitney or even higher than her which i've only seen one person do that but um you know to see like angelina take it and make it her own version and still be able to just convey the message of the song and the performance aspect of it and still wow me is more of a testimony to her talent than anything I think honestly but um yeah I, I mean do I think it's my favorite version I don't know if I can say if I have one I really don't know because every version I've reacted to has its own special you know a, like uh what's what I want special flavor if you will that's really weird uh, not the best word to use but like it's it's like each artist brings its own like special flavor to it that they are known for or that they are capable of doing and that's why i think that in terms of maybe the uniqueness i think of the uh, cover i think i give it to An uh, angelina here but outside of that i think everybody all that does a cover like this all has their own little special ability that they have that really makes that cover their own cover um so yeah, that's that's probably what I would say. But anyways, yeah, this was phenomenal. I'm super excited for her new music this month, and I really can't wait to dive into it. But um, I'm glad we can still do at least some covers to hold us over until that comes. But anyways, guys, thank you all for watching. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and make sure you click on that bell notification to be alerted whenever I start a new group or I start a new band on my channel. Besides that, you guys are awesome. I love you guys, and as always, bye. <laughs>